Today we'll be talking about getting started with a React Native Expo application. Let's quickly start building our first Expo application for web, iOS and Android. You should at least have Node and NPM installed globally to run the Expo application. Expo application can be created in the terminal by using the command npx space create hyphen expo hyphen app at latest. After running the command you will be asked to provide the name of your application. So let's name the application as expo hyphen demo. As the project is created successfully now we can go inside the root of the project folder and then run few commands to get started. In this series of tutorials we will be utilizing Visual Studio Code as our code editor. So let's quickly open our root folder inside VS Code. You can always pass a template while generating a React Native Expo application but you can even create a bare Expo application which comes with a great setup as well. Let's quickly start our Expo application on the development server. For this, we can run command npx space expo space start. If it runs successfully, then you will see certain ways to run your application, even debug it as well as inspect it. To bundle the web application, you can press W. To bundle your application for Android, please press A. To bundle our application for iOS, press I. This is how our application looks like in web, Android and iOS and you can do the development simultaneously on all the three platforms with the same code and the same bundle. With React Native version 0.77 we get a support for React Native dev tools which actually helps in debugging the application in a better way. You can press J to run the debugger. To reload all the bundles and see the latest changes, you can press R. However, if you have come so far, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel, The Diverse Engineer. This is Shashank signing out. Thanks for watching.